The Castle Wheel in Gotwick is a monthly event which gives players a means to obtain certain premium castle skins and march skins, which they typically would not be able to get just any other day on the game. The event will last for three days when it appears, and it will typically pop up at some point around the middle of the month, uh, according to current scheduling at least. You will have one free spin per day each of these three days of the event, so in total of three free spins there, and you will also be able to buy 10 total spins without black diamonds every single time the event is up. You'll be able to get three with gold here, and seven for diamonds here, for a total of 10. So every time the event is up, you will have a total of 13 spins on this wheel here, with the ultimate goal of getting this northmost reward on this wheel, which will rotate every now and then with new releases. It's currently the Black Stag's Anger March skin, which for PvP stats at least, is the best March skin available to players currently in the game. As you would expect looking at this wheel, there is not a fixed percentage chance of hitting all 10 of these spots on the wheel. The percentages are very, very different for each, and I can quite easily show that here. If you look up here, this is about 1,200 drops tracked, and you can see the drop rates here. So that jackpot, the March skin in this case, dropped zero times in this drop pool, and that is probably what you would expect. It is possible to hit it. I would assume, however, the drop rate of it is probably something like 0.05% in practice. It'll be very, very low, perhaps even lower than that. 0.01 maybe. And you can see that diamonds and S essences will make up about 50% of what you'll get on average from this wheel. And the SS troop medals will have the lowest drop rate, and then the SS essences to awaken your castles will then have the second drop rate. So the things you'll typically want the most will have, as you would expect, a ever decreasing drop rate of likelihood of you actually getting them. And through this, you will typically see players mostly approach this event with just total disregard of what you'll actually get on the spins themselves. And that's why down here, a thousand spins is listed as to what you'll get, because every spin you actually make on this, you'll have the rewards of what you get on the spin. But for every one, you will also get a seven-pointed star, which you will then be able to used to exchange for all these things in the fortune shop. It will just unfortunately obviously be very expensive to get to the top rewards available here, with them costing 1,000 seven-pointed stars here. And as I said, you only get 13 uh, of these for free every single event. So saving up to these top rewards free to play is effectively impossible, if we're being realistic about it because you will typically have these skins referred to as 10,000 black diamond skins, because buying these books here will cost 10 black diamonds each if buying directly from here. There are event packs for them, similar to other events like deers and torches and whatnot, but these are very bad, honestly, compared to all the alternative event packs. So here, you'll be able to get a consistent rate of one book per 10 black diamonds you can see there and if we look at the pack progression of it see this first pack is 100 and 200 500 and 1000 so the first pack is the same efficiency effectively as just buying directly but then every pack past that is actually worse efficiency than just buying it directly through the event itself if you need honor banners Perhaps these packs still have value through that, but the additional items as well as these are very poor as well. So I would very, very rarely actually advise buying these packs. Maybe if you can coupon them easily, they're worth it, but buying them in bulk because of that is obviously very difficult. So this second pack, for example, with Monday coupons is a bit better than just buying directly. 
the third pack here with Monday coupons is the same efficiency. And obviously any 50% coupons will be better efficiency on these first three. And this fourth pack is very, very poor and you'll need a 50% coupon for that to actually be worth buying over just getting the 10 black diamond purchases through the event itself. There are two seasonal half price discounts on this per year typically. So last year it was at Black Friday and Christmas, I believe, and the year before that it was Black Friday and the anniversary event. When the phrase half price castle wall goes around, I, but I think a lot of people assume these get cut in half, like the actual store purchases. So some people hoard the seven pointed stars ready to buy. That isn't how it works. The way it works is this here goes down to five black diamonds rather than 10. So you can then buy these at half price and the actual store purchases themselves will all remain at the exact same price. But if you are looking to invest black diamonds into this, you will realistically want to wait for those seasonal discounts because it's just going to be far and away the cheapest way you can actually buy what you want from this event. So in terms of what you will want from this event, there are a lot of options here, obviously which I can go over. So first of all, these bottom three, I would just forget exist. Honestly, I don't think they're ever really worth it whatsoever. You will see 10 premium castles here and this March skin. So this March skin is the only way to obtain this in the game. Like I said, it is the best PVP stats on it. So there is high value tied to that. Seven of these 10 castle skins are actually available in the deer event now for... 3,000 deers, so it's just so much cheaper to buy those through the deer event. I believe also uh, Keep of Kings is available through the recruitment pass, through the exterior shop also, so that will be the cheapest way to get that one. But there are three skins that are exclusive to the Castle Will still, at the time of recording at least. You have Sunken City, City of Stars, and Knight of the Drowned God. So Sunken City is typically what most players look to get as a first purchase from this event at least because it is, for mid-spenders, the best castle skin in the game. 30,000 army size when you have it active is just so, so good. There's total attack passive, which is decent. It has a area buff that's 10% uh, total health as an area buff to allies, which you can use for buff hives. There's just no real bad things to say about Sunken, to be honest. I would definitely recommend this to be your first buy if you're investing to that level here. And then it would probably be Stars, because it has that 10k passive army size as an owned bonus. And then Drowned God, for what it's worth too. Sunken has Cav Castle Awakening, up to 25% passive Cav Attack. Stars has Inf, and Drowned God has Spear, so they're all three different unit types there as their Awakening increases. And yeah, all the other castle skins you can just get elsewhere for cheaper. For lower spending players, I would honestly look to get the rare exterior selection chest if you don't have the likes of the Kingdom Elite March skin or Dunes Fort or any other uh, expedition damage increasing castle skin already. It will take some time, but the price point of this is just much more attainable than anything else that you'll be able to get value from. And those rebel damage increasing buffs are very hard to source typically, so I would look to get them if you don't have those already. The other option is these Castle Awakening Essences. So previously, I did some maths on this, and this was, funnily enough, the most efficient way of getting these SS and S crystal essences, just spinning the wheel and then using the seven pointed stars on whatever you wanted exactly. Since then, however, the crystal essence fair pack has been released into stores on Monday consistently. And if I show you the efficiency sheet of this, you'll see that the crystal essence fair packs for both SS and S essences is just better than the mysterious treasure packs, which is what we're going to be looking at here, particularly when you consider that the Mysterious Treasure inserts these charts are filtered by 50% coupons, which is very hard to source for these consistently 
whereas the crystal essence fail obviously applies it to itself but also you'll have to spin the wheel and use all the seven pointed stars on one of these essences specifically and even then like if you're discounting it by say 70 percent coupons even it's worse than the crystal essence fair pack but the crystal essence fair pack is also giving you a essences s essences and ss essences simultaneously so the niche that the castle will was serving there where it was actually very very good to get these crystal essences and it is better than the crystal essence packs directly for each of these individual types it just doesn't really compare to the new pack that we have every monday now and that is pretty much it i believe so don't ever spin this wheel expecting to get this big reward because you're just going to be setting yourself up for disappointment realistically and only ever really approach this event if you're in a very very high budget the only things that will really be of relevance to you at this point in the current state of the game is the black stag's anger march skin drowned god city of stars sunken city the exterior selection chest if you're free to play or very low spending uh, perhaps if you're free to play or on a gifted account that's now free to play and you have castles that you can awaken you could look to use your stars now on the ss and s essences if you have no way to spend to get the slightly more efficient means through black diamonds on mondays and ignore everything else in this store because it's either just not worth it at all or like with seven of these castle skins, there are just cheaper means to actually obtain it in-game.